In this video we want to learn more about relative and absolute coordinates using the example of drawing a staircase. Before we start a new project we should always uh, check the units. You can just see in this lower area that we are in meters. We would like to draw in centimeters so I just go into options, uh, units and you can change from model units meters to centimeters and my absolute tolerance is uh, now probably a little bit too, uh, too much. I go into 0 0.01 which is absolutely fine. We will start with a rectangle tool. I just go on a rectangle and my first corner point is uh, just 0, 0.0, so it's an x and y uh, 0 in the center of my coordin uh, coordinate system. And uh, the next point uh, will be 25 centimeters in x direction, comma, uh, 100 centimeters in y direction. And I just finish with enter. I just press my middle mouse key and uh, hover over the zoom extend and just say right mouse click zoom extend all viewport windows. The next rectangle should be a vertical rectangle and for this I just um, go again into my rectangle tool and uh, now I just type rectangle somewhere like this and you just see the option that you can change to uh, vertical. If you do this uh, then you just uh, can select your uh, first edge and then the second edge and the only thing you just have to do now is uh, enter your height and I just enter uh, 20 centimeters and I press enter and the next thing you define if it's go if it goes down or if it goes up you just define it with moving the mouse uh, it should go up and uh, I just uh, click uh, left mouse click and I finished my next rectangle. The next rectangle is already uh, a little bit more difficult. Oh, these white points by the way you see these are just smart track points I just don't need this I just switch this off. I also don't want my grid snap but what I definitely want is my uh, O snap potentially my author snap to make everything orthogonal which is uh, which I just don't use right now I just have my auto snap my uh, O snap on and um, for our staircase we want to draw another rectangle. We already use the sidebar, we already use the command bar and if your last command was a rectangle you just have to press the space bar and here we go you have your rectangle again. Uh, everything is switched off I just have my O snap and I can choose my first point. This is my first point. If I just uh, say again I want to have uh, 25 centimeters in x direction and comma 100 centimeters in y direction then it doesn't look good because at the end of the day you have one long line uh, because it just starts to um, to draw uh, 25 centimeters again from the origin of your uh, coordination system. So uh, what you have to do it if you want to do it in absolute mode you just have to say you want to have 50 centimeters comma 100 centimeters and this looks really good but it's really not easy because this is a really simple shape but if it gets more complex you have always to think from the origin. So what you have to do is you just uh, go back again and you just enter a relative um, coordinate. You just enter the add symbol add for relative coordinate again add and then you say 25 centimeters again comma 100 and um, this looks uh, really good and we just press enter. If you change the display mode for example in perspective to uh, shaded then you can see that we actually didn't uh, draw surfaces we just uh, draw curves or um, for you it looks like lines and why not it's called curves. Uh, what we have to do we have to make out of a curve uh, we have to make a surface and there's a command for this. Uh, you can just go into curves and just say um, patch where do I find this? Uh, 
okay, surf, no, surface and uh, patch, this is one option. And then there uh, will be uh, a menu uh, and you just have to see that the surface spans uh, stays with uh, two and you just press OK. And then you have your first surface. And again, I just select this one and I just press my space bar because we already had this command. And I will just show you if, for example, you had a value of 10 spans and uh, which we actually don't want because it's a really simple geometry and you just don't need this complexity. I just say string Z and I just go back again. I just press the space bar again and I enter two by two like this and uh, this one and I just say space bar and uh, okay. So what we did uh, out of um, our lines, our curves, we just uh, patch them to surfaces. Knowing this, we can also immediately do our surface and we thus just choose our surface tool. Um, you can see the command S, R, F, P and T. I think that's something not really easy to remember. I have my O snap on and I just select this point. The next point is also easy, it's this one. But what about uh, the vertical points? So if you have a look at this, um, it's really difficult to already figure out the, um, the absolute point. So it's obvious that we just enter a relative point. I'll just go and enter add. And uh, what about the x value? i just um, have a look. I think the x value uh, stays, um, uh, stays zero. The y value also stays zero, comma zero. And uh, the Z value, I just enter 25 centimeters. And I finished it, this is my third point. And the fourth point uh, goes um, zero centimeters in uh, Z direction. I want to be minus 100 centimeters in Y direction. And I already have my Z direction. So I just say, um, um, zero centimeters and uh, Z direction and you can see uh, I made a mistake because uh, I just forgot to enter my add. Just go to the front and just enter add and uh, this looks good and I just finished the whole thing with my um, enter key. I'm pretty sure about that this was not really intuitive for you. And to be honest, um, I thought about this before I continued my video, but I think it's worth practicing to um, get a feeling for the values of relative and absolute um, uh, coordinates. And there is a different way of uh, drawing surfaces. If you see this polar menu, you can see that there are different ways of drawing a surface. And interesting are these uh, three points methods. It's for horizontal surfaces and vertical surfaces. I just go into rectangular plane three points, somewhere like this, white mouse uh, and, uh, click and I turn my object and I just select this point and then uh, the next point over there. And uh, now I just have to enter the length like 25 centimeters and just press my spacebar like this. And uh, the next thing I just have to see in which direction um, I want to turn my um, uh, rectangle and you see that it doesn't snap. So what you should uh, switch on for this method, you just switch on your ortho orthographic mode, somewhere like this. And uh, what you get is you can just move in an orthographic uh, mode in uh, back in this direction or you just turn into this direction. This is absolutely what we want. And um, I do this again. I just go into my surface tool and this now I hold my left mouse click and I choose a vertical plane. I zoom in a little bit and um, I choose this point. I choose this point and I go up and I enter 25 centimeters, press my uh, enter key, and uh, now I can choose in which direction my plane should, uh, my surface should show, and it should go up, and I finish again with my enter key. 
Oh, uh, I'm sorry about this. I made a mistake. I should have clicked uh, with my uh, mouse uh, and uh, into the right direction before I finish with Enter key. So I'll show it to you again. I just choose my vertical uh, plane tool and um, I take this one, I take this one, I go up and I just enter 25 centimeters like this. And now I have to click into the direction where I want to finish my uh, surface and here we go. You probably remember that our method at the beginning with our rectangle curve was different. It was a corner to corner method. You have the same thing with your uh, surface tool. You just click on the little uh, rectangle and you just choose uh, corner to corner, somewhere like this. And then you choose your um, first corner, this one and uh, you enter your second corner and for this obviously you have to uh, choose uh, the relative mode again i just enter add and i just say 25 centimeters in x direction comma 100 centimeters in y direction and here we go same thing with the vertical method again you just um, choose your rectangle um, corner to corner surface tool and now you go into vertical you choose the first edge it's this one first corner and then you choose um, by the way did I choose oh I chose did I choose the right one yeah and this one and now you enter 25 centimeters somewhere like this press enter and um, Again, choose the direction that's really important and this time I will do it right. I just click with my mouse and here we go. You should practice all these methods until you're really fast. Uh, for example, if I now go and uh, take the corner to corner, somewhere like this. Uh, this is my first corner and, and I enter add. That's 25 in x direction, 100 in y direction, and I press my spacebar again. I take my vertical uh, tool and I choose this one and uh, this corner. And here I only have to press 25 centimeters. I define the direction and I press my left mouse click. Or just again take um, uh, the three-point method and uh, I take uh, this one, I take this one and now I only have to take, enter 50, 25 centimeters and uh, choose the direction, press enter and the same thing with vertical again, take, uh, take this one, I choose this edge and this edge, enter 25 centimeters and uh, choose the direction and here we go. And if you take the standard method, you really have to think about this. Uh, I already did it uh, before I continued my uh, video. I just enter my add and you just say 25 centimeters in x direction, 0 centimeters in y direction and you just don't have to enter uh, that direction. I just do it right now, but you don't have to because this, that is 0. The third point will be 0 direction again with the add as a relative uh, zero direction and zero centimeters in x direction, 100 centimeters in y direction, and I just finish it. And the last point is uh, minus uh, 24 centimeters in x direction and zero point centimeters in y direction. And this is also an option, but definitely much more complicated than the others. All surfaces so far are disconnected. If you want to make one object out of this, then you select all of these and you just say a patch. And um, now you have one object and they're all connected uh, to each other. I will show you another method of how to draw um, a staircase with polylines. I just select everything and I just say middle mouse click and um, click on um, hide objects. And now I choose my polyline tool. Um, I can also just enter a polyline, for example, like th this in my command line. The first point should be at 0, 0. And uh, the next point should be at um, 0 0.20 centimeters in x direction. And the next point should be at uh, 
25 centimeters in um, y direction but you can see if I just enter 0 again that this doesn't look good because what you have to do is uh, just press escape you have to enter add and then say 25 centimeters in x direction and 0 centimeters in y direction then it already looks better again and here again you just say add um, and uh, you enter 0 point centimeters in x direction and 20 point centimeters in y direction and um, you can continue like this but uh, there is a better method actually the better method is uh, distance and direction so the only thing you have to enter you just have to enter 25 centimeters and you just press enter and you can just see that you can choose the direction of the 25 centimeters so the only thing you still have to do you have to switch on the orthographic mode in my um, with my in my snap panel I just switch it on and then you can see that it's a clear thing you can just show the direction of the 25 centimeters that's it and I enter 20 centimeters again uh, I choose the direction up there I enter 20 uh, 25 centimeters um, and uh, choose the direction I enter 20, 20 centimeters up again choose the direction and uh, this is uh, already uh, quite uh, quite fast and uh, what you saw right now here I made a mistake I should have pressed uh, enter again but I just pressed escape so I didn't finish my line I really wanted to have a plateau at the end so uh, I quickly redraw everything and show you very few other things I just redraw my line somewhere like this and um, I continue drawing I just say 25 centimeters in this direction and uh, go up in 20 centimeters in this direction and uh, 25 centimeters again and um, in horizontal direction somewhere like this and um, I don't finish I, if I want to finish now I should press my enter and not my escape key actually but I want to close the line here I just want to go down and just want to have um, a closed line uh, which I can extrude at the end of the day and uh, I will show you how to do this first uh, I, d I go 20 centimeters uh, down uh, in this direction and I want to snap immediately this intersection point of these and this and uh, what I switched on is my smart track and uh, you have to switch on your smart track and uh, if you go with your mouse over these points you can see that your um, that this point is changing to a thicker white point for example like this and I choose this one and I choose this one and if you do this you can see that you find the intersection of these two points and I click on this I click on uh, this one and you have drawn a closed uh, line and uh, uh, this point is exactly um, the extension of these two um, these two points you probably remember that I still have two lines of uh, on top of each other if I just choose this line you can see that Rhino offers me uh, both options I can select between this curve and uh, the other curve I first uh, choose the first curve and I want to extrude this if you want to extrude this you can go into surface and just say extrude curve in this terms straight and uh, I can just um, enter a value for example like uh, 100 or 110 and I just press my um, enter key and here we have our first uh, extruded, um, extruded curve I just delete this and I again choose my uh, not closed curve and also delete this one and I do the same thing with the other curve which is actually a closed curve I enter now extrude in my uh, command line and um, and uh, I want to show you very few things um, what you can do is you can have an open curve somewhere like this and you can have um, a solid curve 
And uh, you can also choose between uh, extruding in one direction or in both direction. Now it's doing it in both direction. I just switch off both direction again. And um, now I enter my value again like 100. And uh, if I just press enter, then you can see that are just extruded a curve and this in this terms it's a closed curve and actually a quite nice staircase. Okay, here we go. I definitely recommend uh, you practicing relative and absolute coordinates and distance and direction methods uh, a lot and thanks for watching.